years it's going to change but the main thing is is to make the talent artists from Asia proud of being on a huge international scale We're in Asia for pretty much the first time ever, and we're just enjoying it. Feeling good. Um, we can't wait to get up there and, and play. Um, it's always exciting coming to uh, a place for the first time. So a few butterflies in our stomachs, but um, it should be good. My red lipstick, a bottle of whiskey, because I'm telling you, you have a drop in your tea and it really makes you fiery, ready to have a good show. I'm not saying get wasted, I'm just saying, you know, it's nice. Normally I've heard that Future is quite, um, you know, dance orientated, so they've had a few more rock bands on like Block Party and, and um, what is this? What's, what's the other rock band? Stone Roses. Stone Roses, stuff like that. So it feels like we kind of have a place in this festival and it's, I don't know, it's cool. There's lots of, I don't know, lots of different sort of dance acts and stuff. So it's sort of made for a more um, adult crowd, you know, so it's, it's been cool. Well, I've been on this tour now since February, so I've met a lot of people around the world. But I can tell you that every country is different, you know. You guys are very calm, actually. Yes, you guys are very, very nice. And you, you, you're very respectful and very open and loving. That's the feeling I get in Asia. It's such a nice feeling. And you're crazy. <laughs> Well, this album is actually very different to the, the music you hear of me today. You know, I, I recorded my last album when I was 18. I'm 22 now, so there's a lot that's happened. Everything, including, you know, just, just my experience and my life has changed so drastically. Um, there's just many, many things I want to talk about. So that's why I'm kind of pushing an album out now as soon as possible. I have so many things that I want to do for my second album and so many people I want to work with. Um, I have a few ideas, none of them are confirmed, but I definitely would love, you know, to get in the studio with somebody that I've loved since I was young, since I was about 13, you know, no doubt. That would, that's like my dream collab right there. So you never know, fingers crossed. Put it out there in the universe. When somebody asks me what my genre of music is, I kind of don't give them an answer. To me, genres don't exist, you know? I think that separates great music. So I would like to say, I'm a bit like the lineup of Future Music Festival now. I think it's just a big variety of great music and that's what I tried to put across on my album. I think early on it was kind of important, uh, just when, when the band was being introduced to everybody, it was important that people knew that it was very understated and that we weren't like crazy, you know, dudes. The way that it started is we had the band name, we, we Google searched it, we thought that no one was going to like, we were like, holy cow, we're in the clear with the, with the name Fun, that's amazing. And then out of nowhere, after we had announced that it was going to be our name, it, it was crazy because it started. We we told this story, and uh, and we were like, yeah, this Swedish death metal band like asked. They were called Fun before us, and so they asked us to do something to change it up. So we added the dot at the end. Stops my bones from wandering. Uh, no, I think that it, it it feels. You know, this was our first year really breaking off into having any sort of mainstream success. So so. I think in a lot of ways, I mean, we're so proud of, of, of kind of that cult following that we've had for years, and and, uh, and if that if it was always going to be like that, it's it's really a magical thing. Um, but this is this is something that most people haven't heard of us uh, until now. So so we we felt like new artists, and we definitely felt, you know, I, I think that the Grammys really put it into perspective just being there for the first time that that we're new artists. It, 
it's 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 always such a cool thing to see people take lyrics and, and reinterpret them. Like for We Are Young, you know, that was always that always kind of had like a um, a little more of a sad vibe for us, and then everybody took it as a, this big celebratory song, and so uh, so it was it was spit back at us as something completely different, and and it was cool to embrace it and embrace the positivity that the song is. Something like that is very difficult to process. It's hard to know. I, I mean, we, we know what it means because we've grown up watching the Grammys. We've grown up kind of, you know, wanting them without realizing how badly we wanted them. Um, and I guess that's the kind of thing you don't let yourself admit that you think uh, you want so badly. Because we just kind of thought there was no chance that we would ever get to that sort of level. Um, so to to be uh, to be honored in that way by our peers is is just amazing for us and that's one of you know one of the highlights of, of our lives this far it's very cool. so if by the time the bar closes and you feel like falling down I'll carry you home tonight I feel very lucky. I mean, uh, I've DJed in Canada and USA before, but uh, this is my first time DJing outside of Korea. Uh, you know, there's a lot of other talented Korean acts that are coming with us to uh, Future Music Festival, like the videotape side, shut them out. So, you know, I feel really blessed to be a part of that group. And, uh, you know, it's always amazing to, you know, show your music to a new group of people in Malaysia. Is, you know, really good at that. I've heard about the videotape guys. I'm amazing. And I just saw the performance, they, they, they rocked it, you know? Shut the mouth, like played to this insane crowd. Future Music Festival, Asia, and the new world. I'm going to get it. Yeah! I'm This guy, I mean, I just watched his show for the third time in a month. And this guy, every single show has been amazing. So, it's great. I'm very proud of them. I think everybody has a different take on music. Uh, if you play a song to a bunch of people, everyone's going to feel differently towards it. But um, I mean, from a DJ point of view, when I'm DJing and I play a song and I see all of these people from around the world and all sharing the same feeling, kind of sharing one moment, you know, it's that connection music 
has between you know different people, and it doesn't matter who the people are; everyone feels it the same way. So I think it's, you know it's, it's a big sharing experience, especially on like an outdoor festival like Future Music Festival. Everyone in Asia, thank you for just letting me come this far from home and letting me perform for you today and enjoying music. That's exactly what I wanted to achieve, and that's what we're doing. So thank you so much. Future for the future, we're gonna put the first ever music festival on the moon. <laughs> now, future for the future, you know what? Uh, I would love to see more future music festival type a a Asia uh, shows throughout Asia. I'd love to see one in Seoul. I don't want it to like just go from this to like boom and then you know the next time it's just gonna boom. you know we want it to go nicely and nicely and nicely and get more people here and people like you love the idea of it and that's it yeah we just want to make people have fun.